Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I am just want to apologize from the get-go if I get like sweaty and stuff during this video. It is currently nearly 90 degrees in the Pacific Northwest, which if you are not familiar, is very hot. Uh, we generally are around the same kind of weather as you might get in the UK, so anything above about 82 and everyone here starts panicking and we've been in close to 90s for the last couple of days and it's it's going to continue to be hot for quite a while. I'm not complaining, but it just does get a little... We don't have AC is what I'm saying, <laughs> okay? So today's video is going to focus on styling a fashion harness for summer outfits. I did a harness video like I think two years ago and it's one of my most watched videos. I just want to put it out there and say from the get-go, I am no Sammy Jeffcoat, okay? Like, she is the queen. If you know who she is, then you understand. Like, there is no one who does harness styling better than Sammy. But I'm just here to have a play. I have some ideas. I've been thinking through it a little bit. And I just want to show you what I've been thinking about because um, one of you did ask about it uh, a little bit ago. Sorry, it's taken me so long if you're watching. But also just like... I want to play because I, I wanted to wear, I mean, the reason I got a fashion harness was because I admire Sammy's style so much and I talk a lot about her in that video and I'll probably talk a lot about her now, um, but she just makes it feel so not costumey. I'm channeling my inner Sammy and I'm just going to play and see how a fashion harness might work into my personal wardrobe, uh, particularly for summer. So that's what we're up to. Okay. Enough of the rambling, let's just get into it and we will start, as ever, with what I'm currently wearing, which is essentially my summer uniform. I have been forever and will always be a wide-legged, flowy pant kind of a girl. I just am delighted that they're so on trend right now because I have been wearing this forever. It's just like, it's just my vibe, right? Um, so these flowy pair of Palazzo pants, I've had these from Zara for... I think getting close to eight years. It's very, it's at least five, it's possibly eight. I've only gotten more into the flowy pants since I got these, like it's just, it is me. So these pants and then obviously like a fitted tank top because what else are you gonna wear when it's super hot out? You do not wanna have a lot of material. So we go with the fitted tank top, also balance, proportions. So, um, and of course it's black and white, uh, but obviously you can do this with color too, like the Formula 6, and we'll get into that a little bit. I, I will not have only black and white outfits. I do have a good amount of color uh, in my closet because I'm a colorful human. And so, yeah, we're going to get into it. So this particular harness as well is not, it's not expensive. I picked it up on Amazon like a couple of years ago, and... Um, I picked it specifically because it's highly adjustable and it has these really long straps, which I really wanted because my personal favorite way to wear a harness is to do this little, this little dealy bub and just tie it around my waist like so. Um, and I just really love this sort of like crisscross effect. I think. Um, one, I have a really long natural waistline, and so I kind of like to accentuate that a little bit with this little crisscross, and I just really liked how it looked. Um, I saw something similar on Pinterest when I was doing my initial research on harnesses and how I might wear them for me, and I saw something very much in this vein, and so yeah, I got this. I will link this, um, this particular harness from Amazon in the description box below. It's the only harness I own, so it will be, you will be seeing it on all the outfits. Um, but I will also include a couple of different brands. Obviously there's Sammy's brand Ardeo, which is very like luxe high-end harnesses. They're not crazy, crazy expensive because she really wanted them to be an, at an accessible price point, but they are, I think, between like two and five hundred dollars. I haven't looked in a while, so I'm just kind of pulling that out of thin air. But I'm pretty sure they're like on the expensive side. This was like 20 bucks. It's not real leather, it's plastic, but it does the job. And then I think there's another brand I've seen that I'm really curious about um, getting one of theirs. And that I think is probably in like the hundred, you know, the like 50 to 100 and some dollar range. So there's, there's levels. Um, so I will link some below. That's a very long way of saying this is outfit number one. <laughs> um, this is my favorite way to wear it. It's very classic. It's very easy. I would wear it with... 
I would wear it with these little sandals. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother to strap them, but you get the idea. It's just easy, breezy, very comfortable, and it feels very like me. I, I don't feel like I'm cosplaying as anything. This is something that I would go to the coffee shop in, right? And it's just a little bit of something extra to the outfit. Um, I do think that this tank top also kind of gives it a little something extra with this cutout, but obviously you could wear it with just like a plain white tank top or a plain black tank top or a colored tank top. Any of it works. Um, but I, I do love that this is like very classic black and white. The other way that I could wear this, and I see Sammy do this a lot, um, is more of like an empire waist. And I can do it with this, um, with this particular harness. Let's just get that out of the way. By looping it through here. And again, there's a, there's a reason I picked this harness because it's very versatile. So I just push these through. Gotta pull this one out, sorry. Push it through here, right? This little tie bob is getting in the way. And then kind of bring it up because I'm gonna be layering these on top of each other and I want as close to a single line as I can get. And now you see, I've wrapped it a few times between here and now I have essentially what is the high-waisted harness. Um, it just sits right underneath the bust line. So these are kind of the two ways that I wear this harness in particular. So depending on what I want to do and how I want to like create visual lines, I will style it and tie it up a little bit differently. This is another outfit I've been wearing on repeat and frankly, I typically tuck it in like so. Yeah, so this is another one of my like, again, summer uniforms. Uh, it's basically the same thing. The top is a little looser, but yes, wide leg denim. I told you, I live in this silhouette, basically. Um, okay, so what I would want, this is a very casual outfit and I would frankly probably wear it with, most likely I'd wear it with my kids. Um, but I wanna see how the harness fits into this. So, do, do, do. so while I normally would wear the t-shirt untucked, I think, I'm gonna wear it tucked in just so we don't have excess fabric lying around. And then something, something that could be kind of fun is belting it through the, the loop. This is gonna be really annoying if you have to go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna warn you in advance. So I think with this, just because it's such a busy shirt already, I would go for the high waist. I'm not gonna like rehook everything. You saw how I did it the first time, so we're not gonna repeat that. But essentially, I would go for this high waist. And then, one thing I see Sammy do quite often is to kind of wear her belt and her harness together, um, which I think could be a good idea in this situation. Also, just in case you're wondering, these are both from Everlane, and I will link, I will link everything I can in the description box below or find similar items. Um, I don't do affiliate links or anything like that, so it's just to help you find things, but the point of this is not to have you go buy new things, it's to show you ways you can work a harness into your daily style. So just keep that in mind, but if you see something you like, it's there for you. Um, you know what? I'm not in love with that. <laughs> I don't really like that all that much. Uh, what if I just untuck it? That also does not feel great. One of the other great things about this harness is that two, three, I can adjust the length so I can make it go really low on my torso or really high up on my rib cage, like you saw. So I think what I want to do here is create, yeah. I'm gonna wear it more like suspenders. Um, and again, you could, I would probably just belt it, but I'm, I'm lazy and I don't really want to do that. I could even drop this down one more if I wanted to, I think, yeah. So yeah, so then it really starts to look much more like suspenders and a belt. 
cinch you in. And that feels much better to me. I clean it up a little bit, make it look nicer. I would probably loop it through almost more like a belt, but I really don't want to do that right now because I'm quite lazy. Um, if you wanted to, some ways you could kind of add some fun to this. Um, things that I might do, if I had a really colorful scarf, I might tie that around my neck or something like that, or like a little bandana. Um, adding a bunch of like fun necklaces that you could stack up, that would be kind of cool, especially like a chunky metal necklace, that would be great and kind of add a little bit of edge to the outfit. But um, obviously you can wear these with like a colorful sneaker if you wanted to do like a pop of color. But I think this is very like, easy and it doesn't even feel a whole lot like a harness because again it's more of like a belt and suspenders vibe but this is another outfit oh my goodness we're only three outfits in and i'm already getting quite warm okay um i'm gonna take my hair down for this don't judge it's awful it's day three hair but i want to show you with the hat sometimes i like to wear a hat and um like i said i have a uniform <laughs> um so how do we do a harness with this? And also, I think we got a lot of color blocking going on, and it can be a little overwhelming, I think. It could be. Um, I think I'm gonna bring these back up. All right, I brought the straps back up so that the rings sit right at my rib cage. And I think for this, I would go with my crisscross. So it gives you a little bit of detailed interest without being too like bold and and like in your face, but it also gives you this belting effect, which is really nice and complements the hat. Of course, I'm gonna wear it again with these black sandals. So this is like very easy. Yeah, this feels like a very summery, easy way to wear a harness. Again, very true to my personal style and how I might do it. I don't think that I would do the high waist with this just because I do like how this belts the white and creates sort of these, I don't know, it just like all works really well, right? It's like when you wear a contrasting belt against white, it just looks good. I don't know, I like it. Um, but I feel like if I, you know, if I did this effectively, it's fine, but it's just not as good. I don't know, I like it the crisscross way a lot better. So that's, that's this outfit. Um, Okay, we're gonna move away. <laughs> we're gonna move away now from my summer uniform and branch into some different silhouettes just because I get it. You can only do this formula so many times, but I, I wanted to show you how it really is quite versatile within my own wardrobe. So this is one thing I might wear out, just a simple pair of high-waisted black tailored shorts and this stripe sheer black shirt. This is Top Men's, these are Aritzia. Um, and I have been enjoying this little half tuck in, half out thing, like you forgot to tuck in your shirt. My friend's husband was making fun of her for wearing her shirt this way the other day, but I actually really like it. Um, so I've been doing this more often. But this is how I would probably wear it. Very simple, very easy, basically an all black outfit with the heels, of course. Um, but I think that it could be kind of fun to see how this might look with the harness added. And um, I don't think it's necessary, but I think it could be really fun. So I think this is one of those situations where it might look best to have it sort of up at the top as like a high waist, kind of empire waist harness, just because then it like lets the skirt, or not skirt, the shirt be flowier and kind of loose fitting around you. And again, I think specifically with this shirt, because it's got all these vertical stripes going, um, I think the crisscross pattern would not only look unflattering, but be visually overstimulating because of all the different lines. I think it's pretty cool. It just adds a little bit of edge to a harness. And um, I think that's nice because this is a bit more, even though it's like a very sexy kind of outfit, you're basically wearing like an oversized men's button up and some high-waisted shorts. Great look with some heels, awesome but I just like that this gives it some toughness and it's an interesting, like it's both feminine and masculine and sexy and also just like a little gritty because of the harness. Um, so I really like that. Okay, so this is more like office vibes. You might need to wear like a tank top or something underneath this depending on 
you and your office and all things. Um, but this is like an office outfit for me, like shorts and a fun pattern button up. Um, I got this at Vintage Shopping in Lisbon, so love this shirt. Been really excited to wear it in summer. Um, but it's just fun and it's, you know, colorful and it's easy and it's office appropriate. So how can I wear a harness with this? Especially, like, obviously with just a straight button-up, like, you could just do the regular button-up shirt, tuck it in, wear it like the belt and suspenders way I showed you. But I do like this sort of crisscross style, and I'm wondering how we can make the harness work with that. Because I do like to wear my shirts crisscrossed. So, let's see. But upside down. <laughs> Okay, harness is on. If I go like this, right, the way that I often like to wear this one, I feel like you can kind of pull it off, but it's a lot of lines, especially with this graphic shirt. And it kind of defeats the purpose of this like crisscross section of the shirt. Um, I think it, it's not enhancing it, it's sort of hiding it because you're covering it up with the crisscrosses of the harness. So if you want to wear your shirt in this like you know, back and forth kind of drapey open vibe, then I would tell you to do more of that suspenders and belt look. And I don't, I'm feeling very lazy right now, so I don't really want to do it, but, but you get the idea. You would basically do the belt and suspenders vibe, right? I'm like, that looks, that looks fun. The harness is there, you know, you get the vibe from the back more so than from the front, but then you get to still let this like crisscross open drapiness really like sing and do its thing and you get to add the fun of the harness if you wanted to wear your shirt buttoned up all the way you could tuck it in you could no that looks awful definitely tuck it in i think this right you can do the empire waist kind of vibe um and have that like similar to what we did with the white pants right you just kind of have that little color blocking sections and that's kind of cool. I think that works really well with a graphic button up. Or you could keep with the like suspenders and belt vibe. You could again do that. It's a little, yeah, I still wouldn't do it this way, frankly. I just wouldn't. Um, I think it's just with a plain shirt, fine. But with like a graphic t-shirt, no, I just wouldn't do the crisscross with this one. Um, but I would definitely do the high waist if it's tucked in all the way. You kind of have to play with it. Um, and every shirt is going to be different and everybody's going to feel a little bit different and yeah, that's why we play with these things, just trying to figure out what works for us. Okay, a change of silhouettes, a midi shirt dress. This is a full linen one, so it's really nice and breathable. I picked this up in Estonia a few years ago. It's like a German brand. I don't know. Anyway, it might be like very much, it can, it can definitely give grandma vibes, but I think this is where the harness can really help like make this dress feel a little bit more youthful and a little bit more edgy. Um, not that it needs it. It doesn't need it per se, but if you want to go that direction, this can definitely like, oh no, what happened? This can definitely help. Well, shit. You guys, my harness is falling apart. <laughs> this is not good. There's too many things. I don't know how to get it all back together. <laughs> Uh, are you guys the same length? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Please don't. Okay, crisis averted. Be careful, your harness may fall apart if you um, have too many buckles. Uh, also, this is really cheap. If it was leather, it would stay a lot better, so. You get the idea. Okay, we're secured in. Um, one of the dresses that I saw a long time ago that I really, really liked and kind of inspired me to try this was, it was like, and I have no idea who the woman was. It was something I found on Pinterest. I'll um, insert the image again. I like referenced it in my first styling video, but she did something very similar <clears throat> to this dress. And it was a really cool way of sort of tying it around essentially. Like hers had, a different vibe. Let me see if I can find that picture again. Maybe we can get a better styling option. I actually had to go back and watch my video to find it. Um, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well, but she has this like crisscrossed a bunch. Um, and I think what she might have done is taken her harness and turned it backwards. And so in a stroke of like, I'm just gonna play with it, I turned my harness around. Um, and so it's not perfect. I would need to like fiddle with it and tuck things in more appropriately and like loop them where they need to be looped in order to keep it secure um, and adjust the straps and everything. But this is the idea, right? Turn the harness around so you get kind of this basic pattern in the back. And then you have this like fun down the middle, which I think is kind of cool, especially with like the more military style of this dress. Um, I kind of like that, frankly. And then I just looped things through this middle belt buckle. And again, like I would, if I was actually gonna wear this out right now, I would adjust the things more appropriately. But I basically just now got this like, you know, now it's just hanging down the middle, kind of like the rest of it. And it's this cool like long line. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. She's got a very different harness. Um, and as many times as I have tried to recreate that look, I have not been able to do it, but, um, okay, my camera died and there's now like a bee or a fly or something moving around here. So sorry if you can hear that and if I seem distracted. Um, we had a wasp's nest out on my balcony like a couple of weeks ago and I'm like quite anxious now. Um, anyway, what I was saying is I've never really been able to fully recreate the look of that original inspiration image. So I think this is a pretty good approximation given the harness I have and just like, yeah, I don't dislike it. I think it's kind of fun. It's a little different, but I just really, I think I really am like happier and happier with this harness purchase because it is so adjustable and having the long straps sometimes can be a little annoying because I have to like triple them up and they don't always lay exactly as I'd like them to, but as far as like first harnesses go, this is a pretty good one. Um, I got no real complaints about it. It's been, it's been really great. So yeah, I think, you know, the obvious way to do it is to put it over the front and then um, belt it. You know, you can definitely do like this belting thing treat it like this and this is the easy way to do it. Some of the harnesses I've seen, they are just like one line coming down the center with like a big circle and then just kind of around your neck and around your waist. And I think that is a really cool one. So that's about as close to that effect as I can get with this. Um, wear a harness over any dress. We've gotten to this point right now. This is gonna be the most basic way of wearing it is pick any any little summer dress you have, doesn't matter the neckline, it, it really doesn't, uh, you don't have to pay attention to that, and just put your harness on over it. It's the most basic way of doing it. It's so simple, but it works, right? Ta-da! I'm suddenly wearing a harness and I look just a little bit edgier. Actually, do I look any edgier with this? Not really. I don't think so. Um, again, because this is a very busy pattern, I might shy away from the, like, more like this, but actually, you know, with this one I would do this. If I had it, I'm gonna adjust these, but if I had it, a little corset harness would be like nice, where it's just like a thicker bodice, um, and then you have like the harness straps uh for your shoulders going over your shoulders i'll i'll see if i can find like an example of one that i think would be great but like a little kind of almost corseted harness would be cool because that's what this is kind of doing right like this is creating almost that like bodice effect um and then it's like framing your you know you've got these like right up here framing your under under your bust and you've got this crisscross creating this like very much like a corseted effect so i think that with this dress, I like that. And you just have to make sure that these are higher up um, than I had had them at my natural waist. But yeah, I think that's really cute. If you are somebody who prefers like the baby doll dress style, that looks terrible on me. But if you like that, then you would definitely want to maybe go more with that like high-waisted harness where it's just underneath the bust. So you're emulating, you're kind of emulating the shape of your dress. Okay, very different silhouette for a dress, right? We've got the 
longer knitted close fitting midi dress. Um, this is a knit dress. This is one of my favorite dresses. It's from just schooler white label. Um, and I just think it's such an easy throw it on and you're good to go. But if we wanted to add a little something something to it, then I think the harness is great for this. And I think it'll be interesting to see like what works with the chevron pattern, right? Um, what's the best way to do this? So the first way you could wear this is with the umpire waist styling. And I think that's kind of fun. It's, um, I said I didn't look great in an empire waist and I don't think that I do, but I think it's more the baby doll style, like, right, where it's like immediately flares out. I don't look great in that. I think I need a little bit more shape and I think this dress helps with that a lot to begin with, just because of the way that the chevrons work. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. Like I think this empire waist style with this particular dress is working for me. I think it would probably do the same for other like more fitted mini sheath dresses, right? So I think it's the baby doll style that just does not suit me. Um, but I kind of like this. So what about our go-to, it's roughly right. Okay, so sitting at my natural waist, could cinch myself in a little bit, just that is one of the nice things about this is I can cinch it in quite a bit and create a more dramatic, creating a more dramatic waistline for myself. Have to sort of adjust these. Like I'd want to adjust the back and let that down and maybe even loop it through the back so it sits a bit more and there's not like this gap, but you get the idea. You can create quite the waistline with this. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little snug. I don't know that it looks great, but yeah, you get it. Not sure it's going to work great with this particular one, but let's try the sort of the crisscross that we all know I like so much. Okay. Again, I'm creating almost this like corseting effect by kind of creating this chunk of my torso that is like wrapped up. Um, I don't think it works great with this particular dress just because of the chevron pattern, but I do have other midi dresses, like I showed you, that are more solid color and less patterned, or they might have a texture, like I have a red eyelet one that would work great for something like this, where it's just kind of creating almost like a corset section. Then I think I'm like really into this idea now of turning this around and wearing it like this especially with this neckline. These would need to be dropped down a little bit. Let's do that. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, yeah, much better. So this could be kind of cool, right? And hook these in the back, come around front, and you could, I can actually hook these three times around and kind of just the same effect, but just turning it backwards. So it's kind of this like, yeah, I mean, you get the idea, right? Um, I kind of really like that a little bit. Uh, that's one option, but similar to how I had the green dress, I can use this center ring to loop this through. And maybe actually I would tie it off to the side. No, it's gonna create like a weird visual. Yeah, no, actually, I think, don't have them hanging down in the front. I think this is kind of a cool look, right? Um, I wish I had the one that has just like the one ring right here and then it kind of breaks off and goes around and goes up around your neck. I think that would look really cool with this. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. We're just kind of playing with it. It doesn't really matter how you wear it as long as you're comfortable in it. But I like that either frontwards or backwards, I kind of like the high waist or having this run down the middle. I, I think what I like about this, this way is the like neckline, the way it looks against my skin and kind of like the patterns it makes here, right? I think this just looks quite cool. And I also kind of like having this like choker effect here. Um, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I might have to wear this. 
So this is an outfit I am very excited to wear this summer just because it's super fun. I love this skirt. I am totally here for like the slightly like polo-esque tops right now. I think they're fun and obviously like a little keg, super cute. So this is something I would definitely wear. I wish that I had a white harness because I think that would be a little bit more the vibe, but we gotta work with what we have. So let's see. So I think that this is gonna be one of those like, the classic way is the best way situations. Um, yeah. So I brought them up to sit just at the bottom of my rib cage. And I think, I don't think this is the right way. I'm not convinced. No, I don't think that's doing anything for me. Let's try it higher up. I feel like this is how Sandy would wear this. I think she would just do the high waist. Dude. Honestly, she'd probably do it like this, and I don't know that she would even do this. I mean, she doesn't seem to shy away from anything. She just kind of whacks on a harness and it all looks great. I don't know how Sammy does it. But, yeah, I mean, if you're going to wear a harness with this, I don't think this is the worst look. Um, I wonder... I mean, I don't know that this is like, it's kind of making it sad and black when what I want to go for is color, but we're just trying. Yeah, I mean, this is where I think like a white harness would be better. Uh, or even like something colorful in, in like one of the shades that's in the skirt, you know, obviously that would be like fun. But if I was going to wear a harness with this, it would definitely be this high waisted look. It wouldn't really be right with any of the other ones. Uh, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. And I definitely wouldn't want to turn it around because I think this collar, well, would I not want to turn it around? Let's try. It's probably gonna be a terrible idea. Oh yeah, god awful, no, don't do that. Too much going on. But yeah, I think for this look, I would just have to go with the high waist, little empire one. And yeah, I mean, if you had a solid black skirt, Obviously that would work really well, but the point was to wear some color. So I don't think that this is an outfit I will be doing with the harness, but if I did, it would be the umpire waist style. Um, or if I had a white harness, it might look way different. You know what I mean? So we gave it a go. Anyway, that is all the harness styles that I have for you tonight. It has officially cooled off outside and I need to go enjoy the last bit of sunlight while I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the different styles. Um, I would love to see your inspiration pictures. Like how are you styling harnesses? It's definitely like a two way conversation. Like I said at the beginning, I am not an expert. I am just trying to like figure out how I can make it part of my wardrobe and to feel authentic because I've always loved them, but I just, it always feels like costumey to me and I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a costume when I go out and about, right? Um, I'm not even like a costume party person. I don't, I don't enjoy that. I want to always feel very comfortable and very much like myself in what I wear. And so, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me while I tried on a bunch of outfits and tried to figure out my harness. Um, like I said, everything is linked below. If you're interested in some of my other fashion content or any of my like travel and lifestyle stuff, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. And let me know if you have any um, suggestions on videos you'd like to see because um, while I do these things a lot for myself, I also really like doing them for other people. So I hope you found value in it and I'd be happy to make or more videos. I'd be happy to make more videos uh, if you're interested. Okay, see you later.